Welcome to Huawei Middle Eastern Innovation Lab. As we mentioned previously, our Master Z campus has three types of scenario. Multi-branch interconnection scenario, simple service campus scenario, and multi-service campus scenario. So in this demo, I'm going to show, demonstrate the multi-branch interconnection scenario, which is actually SD1 solution. So as you can see, we have nine sections for SD1 solution. Starting from the design, one underlay, one overlay, internet access, application optimization, one queues, traffic visibility, LAN service, and security service. So we will go through the nine sections in detail, and I will show you the configuration and the principle of Huawei SD1 solution. Okay, so on the right part, you can see the diagram, the property diagram here. We have totally four size. So this is a real environment, which is deployed in our lab environment. Okay, so if there's a half spoke mode, so the side one will be working at the half side. Side two, side three, and side four will be branch side. If it's the full mesh mode, so each any sides will be able to reach the other side directly. Okay, I will show you the both topology mode in in the following demos. So, so you can see our must NC campus is deployed in the cloud. So each side will have two uplinks, internet and MPS. Okay. So uh, only that side one is a little bit different. For side one, there are two gateway. Okay, we call that a dual gateway. So two access router, AR1-1 and AR1-2. And the rest side only have a single gateway, single router, AR2, AR3, and AR4. And for side one, from the one perspective, so both two routers is working as active and active. And from LAN perspective, the router will be working as the active and the standby. So you can see the VRRP between the router and the switch. So switches and the access point are behind the router. We also have some uh, servers will be used for the test purpose. And for each side, we also have a PC1, PC2-1, PC2-2, and PC3 and PC4. Okay, so these pieces will be used for test purpose, specifically for the service test. Okay, and the, uh, and you can see we also have the some ZTP pieces. For side one, we have a ZTP AR1-1, ZTP AR1-2. Uh, for side two, we have ZTP AR2 and ZTP AR3, ZTP AR4. So these ZTP pieces will be used for their touch provisioning features. So the ZTP PCs is connected to the AR management port. Okay, so I will show you the their touch provisioning features in, in the one underlay okay, section. Okay, let's move on to the next slide. So this video will demonstrate the design sections. So for design section, what are going to the topics? As you can see here, we will we will discuss and explain the global configurations, how to configure the physical network and the virtual network, and how to design the site and within the site how to add devices. Okay. Uh, okay. So so far you have the better understanding of our today's demo. So let's switch to the live environment. So this is the homepage of the iMaster NC campus. As you can see, we have the three types of scenarios for design scenarios. We have branch network, which is actually the simple service campus network scenario. And we have the multi-branch interconnection, which is the SD1 solution. This is what we're going to test for today's demo. And the fabric network, which is used for the VXLAN network, we also call that a multi-service campus solution. So let me click inside the multi-branch interconnection. So we just need to follow the navigation wizard and uh, configure it step by step. So as, as you can see uh, on the top side, we have also we also have the four sections here: basic network, interconnection configuration, traffic policy, and the configuration result. So when so for basic network, it's actually the underlay network. So we need to firstly finish the underlay uh, network configuration. And after finish the uh, completed underlay configuration, so we need to uh, start the overlay network, which is called the interconnection configuration. And for traffic policy, we'll be focusing on the specific features such as the application-based traffic steering, or one 
QoS or overlay ACL, such kind of the features. And for configuration result, it is used to monitor the traffic. Um, I'm sorry, it is used to monitor the configuration whether it is successfully provisioned from the Amazon NC campus to network devices. Okay, so it is for it is to check whether it is successful or not. So let's let's start it now. So for basic network, you can see we also have a seven part. So for starting from the global configuration. We have the physical network and the virtual network required to configure. So under physical network, actually, we don't have to manually configure anything. So everything are default configurations. You can see we, so by default, it gives us the two routing domain, internet and MPS. And the, for trans, uh, transport network, it is the uh, physical uplink. So you can see it gives us four physical uplinks, we also call that, so transport network also known as the TN, okay. So, you see, for, for the internet routing domain, it gives us the two TN, okay. For another uh, MPS do, uh, routing domain, we have another, we have also have two TN, okay. So later on, we will implement the TN in, in our uh, one, one underlay template, okay. So move on to the next. IPsec encryption parameters. So th this is the default values. So you, you can select different options. Okay. And we are using the GRE over IPsec, uh, IPsec encryption to establish the uh, BGP VPN tunnel, which is also called the SD1 tunnel. So to make, uh, to make sure it is secured through this tunnel. And for device activation security setting, so by default it is uh, disabled for encryption. So this feature is used for the zero touch provisioning. If you want to encrypt the configurations <coughs> for zero touch provisioning, so you can enable that. Okay. So we just make the unchanged to make it default. And the link failure detection parameters configuration. And by default, the what is the link uh, failure detection parameter? It's actually we, we also call that the uh, the keep live packet. So we are using the keep live packet to monitor the link qualities, whether it has the delay packet loss data. So by default, it is sending out the keep live packet every one second, okay? This is a 1,000 millisecond. So if you fill the six packet, so it will automatically switch over to another link. So this is also called a switch over condition. All right, so we will show these features in the traffic policy part. Let me just disable it, make that as the default also. And the, the, the link, uh, the traffic steering policy configuration, so it's also the default value. We don't need to change anything. And if you have an, an NTP server, so you can enable that and uh, set up the, your own NTP, okay? Okay, so everything is default. We don't need to change anything. Move on to the virtual network. For virtual network, you can see, we, by default, we have one uh, AS number, okay, 65001, and that is used for BGP, okay. So, we, which is, it means the, the BGP will be established for the virtual network, through the overlay network, okay. Also, uh, it is also happening to the SD1 tunnel, okay. So, uh, we need to, what we need to do is just to create an IP pool for the BGP, okay, road protocols. So, you see, there is, it is already have the uh, IP IP subnet to establish the BGP. Okay, we don't need to confirm anything. And the DNS, you, if you have an your own DNS, you can input. So I have my own DNS. I will give the name. My name Wilson underscore DNS, and then my DNS is ten dot one dot thirty five dot two two hundred. Okay, so I, I just need to add this. Okay, it's done. Click OK. All right, so, so far we have finished uh, everything about the global configurations. So it's very simple, right? So move on to the next. Uh, how to create a new site? So for site design, we, we have several options here. You can create a batch via batch and then you can create one by one. So uh, let me show you how to create it one by one. So just create a new site called test. So the next device type, 
So for any device type you want to add it to this site. So we support most of the device type, narrow device type. Access point, access router, firewall, LAN switch, and the wireless controller. So for example, if you have the access point, AR, firewall, and LAN switch, just check them. And then click OK. A new site has been created successfully. Okay, very simple. And uh, for the batch create, so we can directly go to the device management. Okay. So device management means you can add device into the specific site, but if but you can also choose import in batch. Okay. So I will choose these options because I have multiple devices. I don't want to add it one by one. So there's a template here. You can download template, then field field informations field information of all devices okay so i've already downloaded the template and uh, just let me open this template you can see i have totally 13 devices here and uh, for each side side one side two side three and side four so these devices you can see are totally same as our topology okay, diagram here okay so let me go back to the platform and just easily load this template we call it lan one click start importing and click ok just wait some seconds okay you can see the creation successful for the 13 devices we come back to the device management you can see not only for device but also the site so the four sites has been created also by loading the batch file okay so now we can come back to the site design. You see, now we have totally five sites. For test size, we will not use it anymore. Okay, so I will delay that because there is no any devices inside this test site. Okay, for for device management, you can see all devices current the current status is unregistered, which means we need we haven't done we haven't finished the zero touch provisioning. Okay, so that's the reason why it's unregistered, unregistered status. But everything has been designed already. Okay, so each site we have the their own devices. Okay, so compare with our topology. Okay, for example, the the hub site for site one we have two router, one switch, one AP. Okay, so you can see the site one we have two router, one AP, one switch. Okay, so. We finished today's demo, and uh, tomorrow's demo, we will show how to their touch provisioning, how to how we will finish the underlay configuration for one side.